Most automation tools are incredibly expensive or even worse, they lock the good stuff behind a paywall. But what if you could run a ultra powerful artificial intelligence automation platform completely for free? And the best is you can do this forever. That's where a platform like N8N comes in. It's open source, crazy flexible. And when you self hosted the right way, like I'll show you in this video, you'll skip any of the monthly fees you normally have to pay. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up N8N using Hostinger's VPS service for just a few bucks a month. Plus, I'll also show you how to get it running super quickly without needing to be a tech expert. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to sign up for Hostinger's VPS service, install N8N with just a few clicks, and start automating tasks without paying any monthly fees. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first things first, what even is N8N in the first place? If you haven't heard of it, it's an open source automation platform. Instead of paying for locked-in subscription plans, plans, you're going to be in full control here. Hostinger is the service we'll be working with today, and they have something known as a VPS. This is a budget-friendly way to deploy N8N in just a few clicks inside of your very own server environment. Once it's up and running, you'll have access to 1,000 plus integrations, no-code tools for building workflows, and so many other really useful, amazing features. Now, just to keep this in mind, while N8N's Community Edition is free, you will be handling most of the server upkeep and security completely on your your own. Hosting your VPS plans are super affordable though, and you'll still pay a very small monthly fee. If you ramp up workflows with heavy usage, you might need a higher tiered plan, but for most people, this should be more than enough coverage. Now that we have that out of the way though, let's jump into setting up an on Hostinger's VPS service. The first thing I would recommend you do is use the link down in the description to get started with Hostinger. Now, when you click that link down in the description, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you're going to get up to 67% off of an VPS hosting and it's only going to be about $6.99 a month compared to the massive price difference that is with N8N. All we have to do is hit the choose your plan button and then that'll take us to the pricing page where we can choose from which pricing plan we want to go with. Now, I would highly recommend going with just the basic KVM plan here. Eating, if you're just getting started, it'll have more than enough power to create the automations that you're planning on building. If you want to experiment though with even bigger automations, I would recommend something like the KVM2 plan just to have more room for those bigger automations that you want to build. One of the big benefits here too is that Hostinger also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So it's pretty much the ultimate no-risk offer for you to get started with this service. Also a big tip when you guys are going through the checkout process, make sure to enter in the code my first website, all capitals, no spaces at checkout for an even greater discount. Now once you've grabbed your VPS, you're going to want to head over to Hostinger's H panel and look at the VPS tab on the left-hand side of the website. When setting up your server, choose the N8N template. This saves a ton of time because it handles most of the underlying configuration completely for you. We'll give you a step-by-step -step setup wizard that'll show you exactly how to get started with this service and it's super easy to actually follow through with. Once you're inside of there, you'll then see an option to click the manage button. After clicking manage your server provision with N8N already installed, it'll give you a simple point and click dashboard for tweaks and updates and officially get you started inside of N8N inside of your server environment. After your VPS is up and running with the N8N template, it's time to actually launch N8N itself. In the hosting or dashboard, click the manage app button on your deployed server. And this will open your new N8N interface where you can create an account with your email and a secure password. Now, once we're inside of the dashboard, I'm gonna show you around this and how you can actually utilize this software in the first place. The first big thing you're gonna to wanna to experiment with is creating your very first workflow or otherwise known as an automation. All we have to do is head up to the top right and click on the orange create workflow button. Once we click on that button, it will then take us over to this page where we can start building out our automation completely from scratch. As you can see, I can click on this add first step button here and I have a bunch of different things that I can choose from. The first thing they'll prompt us with are what are known as triggers. These are basically simple routing methods that you can have to actually make your automation function in the first place as well as interact with different types of platforms. The first thing here is probably what we're most likely going to add which is the trigger manually button. This basically runs the flow on clicking a button in N8N and this is really good if you just want to test a few things or just in general if you only want the automation to run every time you click the button. So the first thing we'll do here is click on the trigger annual button. As you can see, our automation work face has updated and we officially have the when clicking trigger button. Now, if I want to make any changes to this, change the settings for this, I can do so by either double clicking on it or clicking on those three little arrows or these three little dots. And then obviously choose from any of these options here. Now, this is a very basic little feature here. So there's not too much we can mess around with here. It's basically just like a button to start the actual workflow that you're going to be building. Now, as you can see, they've actually added another specific little 
branch point here that we can add a new type of trigger or potentially a platform here to continue building the automation. So what we can do now is hit the plus button, which will then take us over to this page. And then on this page, we can start messing around with anything you can think of, whether it's a specific platform you want to connect to, or maybe even a specific set of things that you want to start messing with. Most of you watching this video are probably watching it to start building what are known as AI agents, which are extremely lucrative if you're trying to sell them to businesses or just service providers in general. Now, one of the ways to go about doing that is by adding this advanced AI feature here, or looking for AI agent as the feature that you're going to add. You'll simply click on that, which will add it into your workflow. And then you can start messing around with your AI agent and start adding all kinds of features to this to actually make it work properly and potentially build something to sell to people in the future. As you can see here inside of this AI agent and on the specific part, we can see that we have a bunch of different things that we can connect to it. We can connect our specific LLM that we want to have connected to it, whether that's chat GBT, Claude, or Perplexity or anything you can think of, Gemini, anything with a free API key is going to be really, really valuable here. But as you can see, we hit the plus button here and we can add almost any of these huge large language models that you can think of all the way down to chat GBT and then all the way up to, of course, Gemini. Next thing here is the memory. This is going to be basically what it's going to work off of its memory. And you can use a bunch of different things for this. Again, we'll have separate videos in the future that will guide you through the exact process of building a super valuable AI agent. But just to give you an idea of how this whole process and how the system works in the first place. But moving on from the AI agent, next big step here would be something like adding a platform. Once again, we'll hit this little branch button here and we can either search for or look manually for these, but we'll just probably search for it. Let's say I want to connect this to my Gmail. I'll simply click on the Gmail button here. And as you can see, I can pick from a couple of different things here. I can either go with my message actions, label actions, draft actions, or threat actions. And then of course, there's even triggers down here that I can mess with. But for the sake of this, let's just say that we want to send a message. We want this AI agent to send a Gmail message for us to somebody in our contacts list or somebody that we already have a pre-existing email list with. We'll simply click on the send message button, which then will prompt us through a setup guide on getting our Gmail account linked with N8N. So that way we can actually access the Gmail and send out those automated AI emails. As you can see, I can upload any of these, whether it's operation resource credentials, making sure I sync all of that, my API keys and everything involved with that, and then so on and so forth. You can just simply hit this test workflow button, which will test it and it will run the workflow. Obviously, I don't have anything connected right now, so it's not running the workflow. But when you click that test workflow thing, it will work. And then again, messing around with any of this, you can really just kind of drag and drop. It's really intuitive, really easy to do and really easy to mess with. All we have to do is head over down here and hit click on the templates button, which will take us to their template marketplace. Inside their template marketplace, you can find just about anything you can think of from marketing, artificial intelligence, building blocks, design, finance, HR, almost anything you can think of. There is an automation that exists for this and we can scroll through them and see what we have to choose from. As you can see, I just have to actually upload this. We'll just say that we are opening ourselves either the self-hosted NNM, which is what we're doing. So you'll want to read through this document in order to actually upload that template. Most of the time, it's just going to be a JSON file that you'll export like this copy template to clip for, which is a JSON. You'll head back over to N8N, create a new workflow, or just go into an existing workflow. And then of course, all you have to do is go up to the top, click these three dots, hit the import from file button, which then you would either have a JSON file on your desktop, or you can actually just import from a URL as well. Once you have all that good to go though, guys, that is pretty much it. That's how you do it. That's how you get these types of amazing looking actual uh, automations that you didn't even have to build. It was already built for you, which is just so incredibly helpful. If you guys have questions about this process, make sure to comment them down in the comment section. Also hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.